born with unlimited talents and ultimate talents. For years, music was an impact on his life. He was a writer, but soon he would find out those two things would collide and he would find one of his talents years later. 2012, Zachary Elwood would begin his musical journey by watching epic rap battles of history besides other things and was truly inspired because of how fun, enjoyable, and good music could sound. In this case, hip-hop and or rap. He started writing and made his own rap battles himself. In 2016, it was the beginning as he named his rap name or his artist's name, Thug Lethal. Not really necessarily understanding the name or rocking with it. He changed it a couple times before settling with Scorpius since 2016 on to 2019. What was meant to be a descendant of his father, the Red Scorpion, Mike Martinez. But chose to be a rapper and got a commemorative thing of his dad to shout out the Red Scorpion, Mike Martinez, along with making his mark as Scorpius permanently on his body, technically his right arm. Specifically his right arm shoulder. For years, he made music not releasing them officially, but uploading them and releasing them to YouTube. And for years, was building what would soon be known as Legendary Grand Entertainment. Started as a music label, and became something more in 2021. It started with Princess Undead, D.O.M., or Dom, and Scorpius as Major Supremacy Records, and then Core Impact Records, then as Grand Vibe Entertainment, becoming LGE in 2021, or Legendary Grand Entertainment. <coughs> in 2018, Scorpius collaborated with Odd Man Out Studios, making what he would call his debut, or what would be his debut song, but it was a demo called Stay Here, talking about his life and what was next for him going forward, and his plans. In 2020, Scorpius dropped his first EP while at his Grandma Judy's called Devastation EP, a five-track EP beginning what was the true official release of his music, then released a single after called In My Land, then after that wrote some music, then went back home. In 2021, Scorpius lay low for a while and went back to the lake and met up with Georgie the Bear. They went to building his pirate ship Colossal Collection, got done, and finished Black Buck and the Mega Georgie. With two ships finished, he had set sail with the Mega Georgie, with Georgie, the bear, with the plan. Where to go? While well, the BS back at home went down. He eventually conversated with Georgie the Bear, and they together crafted a suit and lost an eye during the trip, not really, and then put on an eye patch, and came up with a gimmick named Emperor Ultimate. Based off an old gamer tag that was used temporarily in what was the XK7 Alliance's second clan or team, XK7 Slayers, along with combining what is now known as Emperor Vampire and the persona and character and who he is truly overall. After not even a year, just months of trying out this gimmick, he said see you later to Georgie, and he set so back to Arizona. Where he then found the name he's been looking for, as long as he has been on Earth for years. Since then, he has used that name, albeit some changes from two H's to just the homies act, and evolving into his best self, and the name that is mentioned, I mean the final version of it, and that name is the homies act 710. Then I released the LGE movement officially, now finally becoming what I wanted, a musician, label artist. That makes no sense, a musician, music artist. Instead of being labeled a rapper, the journey truly began, or at least that was the rise of LGE. I have three hometowns, and shout out to all of them, Stockton, California, Alturas, California, and Kingman, Arizona. In January 2024, I released... <laughs> February 2024, I released my 14th album, The LGE Shepherd, helping the legendary Grand Empire, LGE audience, and you guys, being everyone, including my friends, homies, fans, and family, as a start, but everyone else as a whole, move forward in life, and help them enjoy themselves and their time here. And that's where this begins.